And it's me, Kit the Explorer. And guess what? Miles and I are at the Museum of Curiosity. It's a fun, fun place where we can explore and learn all kinds of things. Should we go check this place out, Miles? Whoa! Look at this big, round room. It's a big circle. And look, up there, it says Waterworks. And we're gonna go check this Waterworks area out. Water can be a lot of fun, but that's not the only reason we need it. We need water to live, and so does every other living thing on Earth. The presence of water is why we have life on Earth in the first place. Where should we go? You want to go over there? Well, let's go check it out. Come on! Look at this! This is a tornado simulator. It blows wind really, really fast. Should we go inside? Huh? Let's hop in. Whoa! Whoa! It's blowing. It's at 63 miles an hour. Should we go really fast? 85 miles an hour. Miles, was that so fast? Uh -huh. Whoa, that was a really fast wind. What else can we explore here? Did you know that people have figured out how to harness the power of the wind? Using windmills like these, we can generate energy from strong gusts and currents of wind. But if the wind gets too crazy, it can be dangerous. Storm systems like hurricanes and tornadoes can generate winds of hundreds of miles an hour. That's fast enough to destroy buildings like this barn that was hit by a tornado. But enough about the wind, let's go and meet a friend that Miles and I made at the museum. Hey, what's your name? Miles. Miles? That's mm -hmm. awesome. Hi Miles, it's nice to meet you. You having a fun day today? Our friend Melissa showed us around the waterworks area. Whoa, how, did, how does this work? It's everywhere. Yeah, the water comes out from there, and you get to make it go down rivers and stuff. Should we build a river? Miles, should we build a river for the water? Yeah, we gonna try. Maybe our new it? friend can help us. Maybe she can show us how this works. I think we can use these to block the water and direct it. Is that how it works? Check it out, let's, let's try this. Come here. So it's super easy. What you can do is you can just put these up like that and the water just flows down. Oh, yeah. this is pretty cool. Look, we can direct the water with these foam pads. Do you want to try one, Miles? You want to put a sandbag up on here? What's really cool is water can be used as energy. And I think there's a water wheel over here. Just like the wind, the water is very powerful and it's an extremely important resource, not just to help us live, but to help us generate power. Here's a water wheel that catches the current of the flowing water and spins. These water wheels can be hooked up to cranks and gears to power all sorts of things. Some water wheels harness the power of water to spin a wheel like this. This one doesn't use water, but if Miles and I turn this crank, turn it with me, Miles. Do yeah, come help us. Do it. You can see that wheel turning. Whoa, that wheel's catching water and pumping it out. Good job, Miles. You did it. Good job, Melissa. <laughs> Good job to you too. Cool.
cool. What's the, what's the next thing we should do here, Miles? Whoa. Let's see a rocket. You gotta watch out, though. Okay. Whoa! Wanna try it? Let's go try. Warning, it's probably will get one. Okay, Miles. Do you wanna grab the rocket? Okay, you gotta put it in, ready? Miles is gonna put it in, and the power of the water is gonna shoot the top off of this rocket. That was awesome, huh? Woo -hoo. It sure was a fun day of playing in the water and learning about clean, renewable energy. Isn't that awesome, kids? The power of water can turn this wheel. That one's stuck. But just like this big water wheel, if you harness the power of water, you can generate electricity and energy and all sorts of cool things with the power of running water. One of the most impressive ways that people have figured out how to harness the power of water is through the building of dams. Dams block the flow of water and store that potential energy for future use. When the water runs through the dam, it turns generators that generate electricity to power cities and towns and plants. Wow. Miles, do you want to set sail on this boat? Send this boat out on the water table. Cool. And of course, we can't talk about the wind and the water without talking about sailboats. Sailboats use sails to catch and harness the power of the wind to propel them across the water. How fun does that look? It was super awesome to meet you today. Can, Can you get a high five? Nice. <laughs> awesome. It was great to meet you guys. Well, good meeting you, Melissa. We'll see you later. Yeah. We're going to check out one or two more things before we leave the Museum of Curiosity. Miles, what should we check out? I think if we run over there really fast, we can find a really cool wall with some really interesting things. Come on. Follow us, explorers. Look at this whirly pool. Come look. We can control the water by shutting off these nozzles. Whoa! Harnessing the power of water. But guess what? We're gonna harness the power of air this time. Come on, Miles. Grab a ball. We're gonna take these balls and shoot them up into these air tubes. Push it in there. Whoa! Look at it go! Should we send some more in there? Whoa! Put yours in. Look at them go! I can't believe it! Where are they gonna come out from? Whoa! Well, it looks like the other balls are stuck in the air tubes. Miles is gonna push the last two in. Okay, push those in. Whoa, that's windy! Push the last one in. Push it, push it! Whoa, high five! While we're on the subject of air, I think we're gonna end this really quick short video in the tornado chamber. Should we go back in the windy tornado chamber? Come on, let's go. Well kids, remember, if it's stormy outside, listen to your parents, stay inside, and don't go out in bad weather because bad weather can get really windy. Do you wanna hit the button, Miles? Whoa.